Blind Faith Outreach Ministries is lending a hand to those in need, hosting a mental health awareness event this weekend that spans more than just the basics. Nicole Edwards is here in studio to tell us more. So Nicole, why don't you just tell us about your group? So what Blind Faith Outreach um, does is that we try to fill in the gaps of the community however we can. Uh, we started off uh, doing giving away uh, school supplies, and so we're hoping to expand um, and do low-income housing for uh, youth who are transitioning out of um, foster care. Oh wow! Yeah, that's how that's our end goal. That's so you really do cover so many different areas, and you want to talk about why you feel that there's a need to go doing a mental health awareness event. Well, we want to raise awareness and we want to reduce the stigma. It is now time that we open the conversation. It is no longer a taboo thing. Mm -hmm. um, if COVID did nothing else, it uh, highlighted the mm -hmm. fact that we have a lot going on in our communities um, concerning um, mental health. Mm -hmm. So many people who are depressed um, and, and thought they couldn't say anything, but now we want them to know, please come out, see what's in the community that supports um, mental health and supports wellness, yeah. you know, and um, while you're out there, get some techniques so that you can start to realize those um, little hints of somebody maybe being depressed or that's going to commit suicide. You know, um, what we don't want to see come to Wilson or any of our surrounding areas is that uh, we start to see um, mass shootings and stuff like that. Yeah. We don't want to see that. So this is why we're hosting this mm -hmm. event. And then mental health issues, so to speak, they impact people of all ages. There's really mm -hmm. no stereotype for right. it. Young, old, middle-aged, mm -hmm. men, women, everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell us about the event that you have. So the event again will be hosted to, um, tomorrow, yes, uh, July 15th um, from 10 a.m. to essentially 12 noon. Uh, we will have food vendors out. We have right now's kitchen as well as um, Bill's Grill who will uh, be our food vendors. But we also have um, mental health and wellness, excuse me, um, vendors that are going to be coming out. Uh, Journeys have signed up. Uh, we do have uh, Veterans Administration mm -hmm. um, that's also going to be coming out. Um, and that's another really yeah. awesome focus point because so many veterans go struggling mm -hmm. with things when they get out of the service and they mm -hmm. have such a difficult time yeah. getting the care that they need. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then something else that's really, really cool about the event that you're having is that you're going to have a mobile mammography yeah. unit there. Talk about that. Yeah. So again, because it's going to be a touch of mental health and wellness health. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's really hard sometimes for the young ladies to get out or the older ladies to get out. Um, in a community sometimes we forget that that is something that we need to touch on mm -hmm. so the um, mammography uh, mobile unit was gracious enough to um, come out uh, we had um, about 15 young ladies um, sign up ahead of time but we are still taking appointments so if you come to the event we'll take you so if people want to go making reservations can they do that online and what's the website for that so normally they would have been able to do it online but we filled up all of those slots wow so since we filled up those slots what we're going to do is we're going to start to take people and although the event is stayed um slated to end at noon the actual um mobile unit will be there until two that is so fantastic and and a big key in health is preventative measures yeah. and that's very much something that a lot of women they when they find out about breast cancer usually it's a later stage yeah. so that's absolutely fantastic absolutely. Mm -hmm. so who should come out Everybody, I think all ages. everybody, no, no matter the age group, um, should come out and participate. Um, if nothing else, come and see who is in the community, who is supporting your community. Um, because what you can do is later on, you may not need it right now, but maybe someone in your um, household or in your community may need it. It may be someone in your church. It, it doesn't matter. You know, just come out, get that information, take it back home with you, and then when you see that need for or you have that base, that resource that you can call. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. We thank will you. go putting additional information over at WITN.com. And of course, thank you again to Blind Faith Outreach for coming out, sharing the story, and we hope that you check out the event tomorrow.